Hey there, I'm Jim Cleaver. This is uh, Finance 3025 Colorado Mountain College summer summer semester. We're uh, we're on the at the tail end of last week of class, and I thought I'd put up some handy homework help for everybody. I just sat here and took notes for what seems like well, I was about God two hours of fooling around with this software and, and making sure I got you some useful notes and how to navigate this this online course etc um, now my expectation by the way I, um, as a as a as your professor and as a uh, an open source libertarian style teacher is is that um, you could have found this on your own but I but I like you <laughs> so I want to help you as much as I can uh, and, and be successful and you know, sort of get, get, get some of the um, mentorship that I got <laughs> year after year in my life, which was all, you know, non-academic, by the way, I, mostly my dad and, and other people who, who taught me finance. And then I studied in college and I, I actually have a master's degree in finance. And I was just talking about doing doing doctoral work in, in price discovery and open outcry markets. You may or may not care about any of that, but <laughs> that's where my, my where I've been doing a lot of heavy thinking. My, my dad's getting old. He's 88. Not getting old. He is old. And uh, he was on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange for 44 years actively and has an amazing amount of wisdom in that area, so I I, I want to tap into that and 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 get him to flesh out what it, what an open outcry, an auction market system might look like today. Um, I'm not sure if uh, that's what's going to happen, and 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 uh, it, what would the regulatory situation be, etc. But on to this, I I don't want to bore you with my. I'm going to start here at uh, time value of money. If you can see this on your screen i hope i'm sharing and i am recording looks like my levels are good but what i'm going to do is tell you how kind of how i navigated through these these problems and first things first uh when you when you hit this problem it comes up like this um, there it is it's going to go boop so that's number five. I, I think we already covered number five in another tape, but uh, just so you know, what I did here uh, in number five, uh, if you go, if you use this book, go into your book and, and use your book search, it, it gets pretty easy to find these problems. Time value of money. Um, so I would just go in here. You see, I used chat GDP before. I'm going to show you how to do that. So what the hell chapter is that? Well, it turns out to be chapter uh, five, time value of money. And if you go down, you, you can find the comprehensive spreadsheet. This one, uh, as a matter of fact, looks like this. And I'm not going to get picky in, anymore. If you, if you want to fill this in, that's fine. I, I really want you to do it in Excel just because I want you to get the... Uh, get the experience in Excel uh, but if you go now what I really want to show you here is that uh, and here it is here's the problem right here um, and this is chapter five's end of uh, end of chapter comprehensive spreadsheet problem uh, here it is in 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 the solutions but where did I find that if you want to go and find it I put them all in the files so if you go in here, check figure files right here, and you go, there's case models, there's problem fire files, there's the instruction manual, uh, and there's end of chapter uh, here. Um, go to the problem file when I tell you to, and I've told you in most of uh, the um, most of the assignment descriptions where to go, so you'll know where to go. Um, and, but if you want to check your figures on, on chapter five problem right there, that's, that's where it is. 
and here's what it looks like here's what they look like side by side if you they don't they don't really look the same uh, you know like this but now now you can pull it up on your own and pull up two different files um, I suggest now make sure that you start you pull it up in in the I'm pointing at <laughs> where, where my camera and make sure you pull it up in the uh, in the problem first because you can open up two Excel windows if you do it that way you know it's like coming th this is like the school's Excel and this is my my desktop's Excel or uh, I think that's the way it's working for me uh, uh, interface wise but but neither here nor there you can open up two and if you have your trouble opening up two windows like I'm doing here because I've got two screens going right now but I've got two win uh, two different uh, tabs opened up on this of Excel uh, or, or two different um, uh, Excel programs opened up so I can look at uh, I can look at both together uh, Google that you know or, or go on YouTube and, and uh, find out how to do it if you're if, if it's giving you fits if you don't if you just got a laptop at home and, and you're a business student this is just an aside um, go down to Habitat for Humanity or wherever uh, we, we have a local one or, or wherever a uh, uh, secondhand store and grab another monitor and a cord. You're only going to spend 15 bucks and then you then you get another monitor that you can plug into your laptop. But I, that, I have that little setup at home in case I'm trading at home for some reason, which I seem to do quite a bit. Um, I want that. I want that extra capacity, but. An extra monitor is dirt cheap, you know, especially used. You just if you spend it ten bucks and it lasts six months, throw it away. Um, so <laughs> it's just a little hint. Uh, it's so much handier than trying to take pictures of everything and fool it around. I don't know. That's just my my opinion on getting through the work. As you're you're up at the three hundred level now, you, you, your time is time is everything especially you're here at community college what i consider community college um we we uh man i, I know you're all working or you have children or both or you know uh whatever and, and you're trying to get through this stuff you got to get good at it <laughs> you get fast if you don't get fast you're uh uh, you're not gonna be happy. I'll tell you that. Uh, you know, that's all I can say. From a guy who, who, you know, just did a lot of this work. Uh, did a lot of this work academically. You know, um, recently. So there's those two. That's chapter five. So you go down there and, and get that. Um, where in in those files in the comprehensive files. I'm gonna save that one. Uh, so, so you can go find it. So, it, I did that this morning. I put all these online so that so that I wouldn't have to spend forever, you know, showing you formulas and stuff. You can just go and open them up. Um, so, uh, chapter six, chapter six is here. I get rid of five, and six was interest rate determination and yield curves question looks like this in my notes it says interest rate determination and you use use the comprehensive Excel problem and so I would go in my I would go in my files here and what I mean end of chapter comprehensive uh, Excel file is uh, check figures Oop. is these ones Excel problem files I should probably rename that comprehensive, but chapter six. So there it is, and and I can uh, it, it'll show up on here even uh, like that, or I can download it, which is better because then I can get the formulas and whatnot. So here it is in in problem form. Uh, again, I want you to download this um, and. You can see I'm clicking on it, and it'll come up. Comes up on my OBS screen. I, I use OBS software to. I'm not. I'm not plugging them. I don't know if they're the greatest. This is the software I just got used to, so I use it. Uh, so here, here's this problem. Uh, real for inflation premium. 
and all this. Write chapter six, use comprehensive Excel. It should dovetail with these and, and these yield curves pretty well. Your numbers will be different, but you'll get the uh, you'll get the idea here. And again, let me put that back up. Um, right here's here's the Treasury yield, corporate yield spread, DRP, and the. Suppose you're, let, let's see, A, B, C, D, based on the information calculating yields of real risk free rates, treasury and corporate bonds, right? It's going to tell you. Now, the, the this one, chapter 6 20, may be 6 20 Microsoft Excel file doesn't doesn't have a name of a company but sometimes I go if I go in here and let's close that one you can go I also put the instructor's manual here and it's chapter 6 so if you really uh, you're, you're really trying to learn about the chapter this instructor's manual is really handy too and I put in the I put in the assignment 6-20, and I think that's where, that might be where the solution is here. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, there's 6-20. Uh, right, here's the comprehensive spreadsheet problem, uh, and it tells you where to go, and all that. So. Uh, there, there's even there is even more there if you if you need it. Uh, so that's chapter six. Uh, don't be afraid to use these resources. Again, I, I'm an open source guy. I don't think I I, I mean I, we're not at. Trust me on this subject. <laughs> you're gonna get tested. <laughs> if you think you're getting over uh, on on your education. You're not. You're going to get tested uh, in the workplace. I, I don't. I don't really worry about it. Um, the 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 cream will rise to the top, as they say. That's an old old term in dairy farming or life. Uh, you're not. I, I don't worry about testing you that much. I, you know, my colleagues some do, and and, I, and nothing against my colleagues, by the way. They, they, um, there's there's a certain belief in rigor and and. Uh, meritocracy they all claim they don't believe in meritocracy but they do uh so <laughs> and there i am disparaging my colleagues again i i don't know i don't mean to do that chapter seven so you can see i put uh 719 here uh bond valuation and in that one my notes say that that um end of chapter comprehensive problem again uh so i would go I would go here. I don't need this one anymore. Oh, and by the way, um, you know, if you're if you're following along in the book, you go chapter seven. You know, look it up in the book. Well, let's go bond valuation. Let's just say bond valuation. And I think it was seven nineteen. Uh, bond valuation, Madsen Motors, Clifford Clark. I, I'm pretty sure it was Cliff Clark. And, and it'll take you right to it. Here's the comprehensive spreadsheet problem, right? So you can do some reading there and, and uh, you know, find where you need to be in the book to, to really get a, a robust explanation of the problem. Uh, if, if, you, if you're wanting to learn about it really well. Uh, here we are, bond valuation, Cliff Clark. Uh, there's theirs. Uh, the, the, there's the problem that you'll be filling out. And, uh, of course, uh, I can put that over here. And the solution in here, files, I go right down to my uh, check figures and I can go in uh, problems. And what did we say? Bond valuation chapter 7. And click on that and, and it'll bring it up here and and be sure and you know click that download if you want 
there it goes for me. And there's the other one. So I can drag that over and, and put it put it next to this one and, and uh, get an idea of what's going on. Clifford Clark, right? Here, here's the three twelve. First it gives you a bunch of hints. You know, and then, and then of course it, you know you enable editing and, and you can go in there and uh oops, just like flew over there. And then go in and, and look in your formulas. To do that, to get your formulas, show formulas, right? And I'll show them um, to see where you're going wrong on, on those things, if you will. So there's that and that. And oh, I should get rid of those. So I end up with 9 million things open. This is a pretty good computer, but it ain't that good. The one next to me over there is one that um, my son built uh, for gaming and, and uh, he upgraded and I ended up with it and it's it's effing fast. So that's seven. Let's go to eight, evaluating risk and return. And in my notes on, on eight, um, use Use the spreadsheet at the end of chapter. It says here. Uh, let's see if that's true. In between here, here's don't forget to do these these uh, uh, these these discussions. Uh, just as an aside, in your syllabus, um, you see how things go. Homework and attendance fifty. Uh, final exam twenty five and discussions twenty five. It's twenty five percent of your grade. Don't you know get those get those entries in. I, I think I had a question. Uh, and, and from John, and I'll, I'll answer that question to him in email. But um, if I got it right, John, I'm going to read your email online. Uh, second, last discussion. I need to respond to one more person. Da da da. If if uh, if you're unable to do that, don't worry about it. Uh, don't sweat it. Um, it's uh, questions on a test he wants to look at. Yeah, I think we can get to that, John. Um, but if, if you're unable to, to do that, uh, you know, this, I should, I should have thought better, I guess, you know, we only had eight students and uh, it's hard to get a, a really robust discussion going with, with that few students in a, in a class and make sure you can reply to everyone. Um, but for, you know, hooker by crook, I guess. Um, but anyway, we're on chapter eight. And eight is evaluating risk and return. Is that this one? No, this is bond valuation. That's what I had up last time. So uh, evaluating risk and return, you could, you could put that in. If I could type evaluating risk <laughs> and return and, and go in there. And, and it'll take you, right, final, there it is, the final comprehensive spreadsheet problem, uh, Bartman. And I think Bartman is what we got here. I'm, I'm certain of it, actually. Um, and so there's there's Bartman, and here's Bartman. If I go into files, I go down here, check figures, um, and go to my problem files, and go straight to chapter eight. And there's there's this should be the Bartman problem for you to download if, if necessary. Maybe you just walked right through it. Um, there are those. So here's Bartman uh, doing their thing. Here's what it looks like uh, in Excel uh, from from the book from Cengage or whatever you want to call this. Uh, that's that's how it that's how it's going to look for you. And do I have it up? I have all kinds of stuff up. Oh, I didn't, did I not click on it? Let me see. Oh, I didn't download it. There it is. So it's got some extra uh, uh, hints and things and stuff like that for you to get to. There they are side by side. Pink. There's that. That's the that's the solution. And um, there's there's the problem from your book. So it's got this nice 
you know, blurb there so you, you can go through and get some better understanding of, of what's going on. And, and again, that's my goal. I don't, you know, I'm not a grader. I don't want to trip you up. <laughs> as, you, as you go up and get further and further north, you know, up in 300 and 400 level classes, it gets much more competitive. It just does. Uh, you know, professors, uh, they have a bias. I, they don't want you in the academy. Um, they don't, they don't want you to, uh, I, and, and that's, it's, it's subconscious. It's not a real, they don't come and tell you that, but this uh, academia is like a club. Uh, so it gets harder and harder. And you and you're, you're, uh, these are my opinions. The, uh, the, your competitors, your, your students get very competitive. You, now you're in, if you're at 300, 400 level, you're, all, you're already with people that are smart. <laughs> I got news for you. They're competitive. I'm going to beat you at Monopoly. Uh, let's see. That's good, I think. Um, Bartman, and it goes right through it here. Um, and, and again, go, go to the, uh, the other files. If, if you're really looking for some deep learning on these things, you can go into the problems. You can go into the case models of problem files. Um, if you go here, uh, what was that? Chapter nine. Here's what this looks like. Just in case you know, these are problem files. Um, and, and it shows you how to do stuff. And these problems are really good. They're, they're really handy. So back to assignments. Um, corporate valuation, risk and return. Did we do, uh, where were we here? Evaluating risk and return. So we're on chapter nine, corporate valuation. You're going to notice in here too that, that I deleted a few things. Oh. But nonetheless, uh, I, had, I had a duplicate in there too. And then there's that other one that, that uh, everybody said we can't hand in. And that, that's okay too. I, I can see it. It's fine. Uh, don't, don't worry about it. In here, so you can see I wrote, look in your book, problem uh, 915. So here's nine. Look in book. So you go, you go here and you go, uh, um, oops. Oh, come on. You didn't expire. Please return to the and watch your ebook. Let's go back. Um, and make that happen. So here's, and these have videos too, which is really cool. You want to go in here and look at the video. In this Excel online spreadsheet, we will use the corporate valuation model to calculate a firm's continuing or horizon value, its total value today, and finally, to estimate its current stock price. We have been given the following information in this problem. Free cash flow so in year really cool. one. It, it'll tell you exactly how to go through this. Uh, so use that. Uh, here's the spreadsheet. This is sitting here spinning. Great. I don't know why. I'm going to have to go back to Cengage to get in there. Um, such a pain. They, they, they tend to uh, watch. They're going to log me out. All right. So here's that problem. And, and um, this is, uh, let me get back in the book so I can, I can get you back in there. I go in the book over here. I, you, know, you, you can do it. You, uh, you go in through, um, through Canvas, I assume. You go through and, and grab the book that way. <clears throat> but I just go in my library. And I go in the book like that. And we're on chapter nine. Nine, six, seven, eight, nine. Valuing non constant. I know we had to do that before. So this will take me to the ebook, which you, you have available to you. 
I'm going to leave that up just kind of as my, my um, connection maybe. I have some super duper connection here. It looks like it's slowing down or something. So there's how, how that spreadsheet looks. And if I were going to attack this one, 9.15, I, I would go into Files 2 and go to uh, my check figure files again and go to the problem files and go to chapter 9 and see if it's there. I'm not sure it is. End of chapter comprehensive spreadsheet problem. There it is. Um, and what the hell's going on here? Boom. Um, where's my. Here's this one corporate valuation. Is it the same as this one? Let's see. I don't think so. I'm not sure. There's that Excel sheet. What, what happened to the other one? It went away. Oh, maybe so. All right, let me find it. Bear with me. I'm sorry. And here we are with this one. I'm going to download it. There we are. These people in class are like, geez, get with it. Uh, there's that. And that's the comprehensive spreadsheet problem. I'm not sure if that's the same problem as this one, although it it will help you. You know, that's why I, that's why I have it up there. It'll help you a lot with, with understanding this. Get back now. We get like exactly there. Dantzler. So that's Dantzler. Uh, look at the book, dash 9 dash 15 is what it says to me. I can't get the damn book up because this is a crappy website. Uh, let's see now. Let's try and get it any way we can. You're really not going to give me the book? See, all these book companies are you know, competing heavily with each other, uh, but they, they don't do a great job. Their, their IT departments aren't that great because I think their margins are very, very small. So if I go to MindTap here where this is, if I open up another file of MindTap, maybe I can do this. I go to Assignments and I open up another MindTap. Maybe everybody's going to learn something here. Um, so I'm opening up another mind tab and I'll just go over to the book and I'll show you how you might might um, go after this. There's that, but I don't want that. I want this. I'm going to X out of that. You see what I'm doing here? I'm going to make this big. This is yours. And I should get a chapter nine, chapter nine here, stocks and their valuation. Uh, here's problems, right? And and uh, I think that was Dantzler nine fifteen. So here it is, Dantzler Corporation um, nine dash fifteen, uh, which you, you can look at there, um, and and then you you can go back and and, and look at um, search the course, right? There's that search box up there. There it is. Search this course. And, and go um, corporate valuation, Dantzler. Just do Dantzler. You got to get your spellings right. <laughs> Is that going to take me right to this problem? Nine dash one. Yeah, this is going to take me to these problems. Dantzler down here. But I can also put a corporate valuation. Corporate valuation model. There it is. Read chapter 9 stocks. Right? Stocks and their valuation. Hybrid finance stocks. And it'll tell you where to go. Excel online corporate valuation. 
right? non-constant growth. So you can you can root around that way. I don't, I don't want to spend too much time showing you how I root around. The other way you can root around um, th this one is that the one I used on chat on oh, chapter twelve. I'll wait till I get there. So so that one you should be uh, reasonably okay with. It's a, not that tough a one anyway, um, as far as that goes, I think. Missing cash flow. I'm going to hit that again, see if it goes. So weird. All right, we'll let it spin. Now let's go to 9-18, constant growth. There it is non-constant growth and, and corporate valuation go just kind of trick it non-constant growth and corporate valuation we don't need that we need this so do this thing back you go and my notes here say use the Excel spreadsheet end of chapter. So this one um, looks like this. And then I would go in my, uh, I would go in here in my files and find it here. Check figures. Case models problem files. And go in chapter nine. I'm make that big so I can see it. Three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Download it. Open it up. And off I go. There's the two of them. I'll put them side by side here. There's there's the uh, there's the book's solution. There's the problem. CT Tossig it is. Tossig Technologies. Uh, TTC. Uh, what's it worth today? And this has some great explanations over here on, on how they arrived at these solutions. Uh, so you should be able to see those pretty easily. So end of chapter problems. There they are uh, on that one. So right end of chapter comprehensive spreadsheet problem. Uh, and maybe I'll rename that this file when I go in my check figure files. Uh, let me see if I can rename that right here. Uh, Chapter comprehensive, comprehensive uh, Excel. Uh, it's a little better, right? End of chapter. Maybe that'll help you. Okay, so that's that one. Again, if, if you if you end up uh, you know filling in these, that's fine. You know, I'm, I'm not picky. Uh, but but I really want you to use Excel. I, I mean that I, I think it's valuable to to your education uh, to get to practice. It's like it's it's like practicing rowing <laughs> or anything else. Uh, but let's see how much time we got on this. Half an hour, good. I, I think we'll get up through these other ones. Uh, chapter ten. Chapter ten is sky. <laughs> Uh, that's announcements. Chapter 10 is right here. Sky Computers Excel activity. You see, um, you see what I did here in Sky. Uh, use Excel, use the Excel problems 10 21. Problems, I said. So here's, here's this 10 21 is going to be. That's not going to help us, which I'm really mad about. Cost of capital. Uh, 
Anyway, let's go in. Uh, let's go. We don't need this either. There's 10. We'll go in the files and see if we can come up with it. But if we were looking in the book, I'll show you. I'll show you what that looks like too. Uh, so there's it, calculating WACC is what they're after. And, and it turns out, oh, let's go in uh, um, let's go in the in the in the word in the word stuff. So here's here's this, and, and, and we can go into our chapter into our uh, what I will call check figures area of files. And you can go, let me show you how this how good these uh, these instructor manuals are. <laughs> Now the instructor manual is way down here, I think by alphabet. So we would go in chapter 10, um, chapter 10 right here. And this one, it's a, it's a Word file, so uh, you don't necessarily have to download it. You can if you'd like. Um, right here's lecture suggestions. You'll see how good I did there. Um, this is chapter 10, 21. 19, 20, 21, right? So there's the comprehensive spreadsheet problem. Um, right, and the solution is probably not provided to students at the back of their text. They can access the Excel file on the textbook's website. So here, here it is here. Uh, here it is here. Right, so uh, it looks like that this is Sky Computer, and off it went to the other side. Sky Computer. I don't think it's in the comprehensive side, but let's take a look just for fun. Chapter ten. Um, and there it is. There, uh, and 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 there it is. By the way, uh, the solutions there. Uh, d just to get you, you, know, you, you can check figures through this. Uh, and I'll make it smaller and close it, and then I can go in the comprehensives and go in. I don't think it's chapter 10 here. Let's see. But I may be wrong. My notes may be wrong. Which is, uh, happens. Yeah, there it is. Sky Computers. So you can, you can, go, you can go either way with that one uh, and, and, and get to where you need to be. That's chapter 10. Uh, we've got a few more. Uh, on to chapter 12. There's, we, I skipped chapter 11 for a number of reasons. Uh, but assignments. All of this, all of this is available online. Um, the, the, the deeper you get into finance, into the mathematics of it, the better off you're going to be anyway. It all tie, all this stuff ties together when you start to reach the the, the peak or the the uh, there's never a peak in education but to re reach you know the 600 level which is master's level you, you get you're gonna know a lot of stuff that relates to one another whether it's statistics or strategic management or you know you've heard me talk uh, the, the people that really get paid or, or um, they learn all this stuff. They, they're good at math and they're good at, good at everything. In this Excel online spreadsheet, we are given two mutually exclusive projects, A and B. We are asked to calculate each project's expected annual. So that's that. Um, I, you know, I urge you to click on that and, and you'll, you'll really learn something there. Um, so here's the, here's the template, uh, project risk analysis. Um, and this one, I, I just to illustrate what I did. I, I was fooling around, and I went over on Chat GPT. And look, look, I asked it. I asked it a question. I, I was acting like I was going to get it from Chegg or something. So I just put a little bit in, and you're going to laugh. And, uh, but uh, it, it said, it seems like you're missing information. So I just cut. I I cut and paste the whole thing, and look what it did for me. You know, but it explained it. What, what I'm trying to get to you is, is it explained it. Uh, it said, uh, calculate the expected cash flow for each year in both projects. To do this, 
multiply the probabilities of the cash flows with their corresponding cash flows for each year. And the, and the probabilities are given in, in the problem. So you go back to the, the problem and, and, and you can do the problem. You know, this is a, not working. I'm just going to have to log out of all that stuff and come back in. That software can't handle it. So you're, you're, here, it gives you the probabilities, right? And, and then in the spreadsheet, you know, it, it tells you really what to do. Uh, and then, of course, I, I, we saw the other one, chapter project risk analysis. And that one uh, I did in chat, um, but that's Sky Computer. That's not the one. Project risk analysis, this one. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, there it is. And again, you can go, you know, you can go back to uh, um, the, the instructor's manual, if you wish, and, and look at that that way or however you want to do it. I, you know, I, I just want you to learn something. Um, that's my goal. And in the book, you, you know, if, if you're in here, you, you do project risk analysis uh, and say, well, what am I going to do? I could go. Uh, and I think that was 12, 12, 12, uh, 12 dash 12, boom, cash flow estimation, risk analysis. Uh, what if I went project risk? Cash flow and estimation, uh, Monte Carlo, which you should learn a little bit about. Let's take that out and see what it says. Right? Oh, these are great. So, you, you know, you, it, there's a, no, a number of ways to skin that cat and, and get where you want to be with answers. And by the way, this goes for the final as well. You know, the, the, one of the reasons I put this kind of video up this is show you how I navigate, which, you know, who cares how I do it? I, but I'm trying to, uh, to sort of teach you how to navigate in order that you save some time and you don't have, God, you, you, your courses, your courses don't take you so long, you know? So, that, so one of the biggest things I think these days is learning how to do that. That takes us to 16. So we did 12. 16 cash conversion cycle. This tool needs to be loaded out. I didn't put any notes in there. 16. Uh, and that one's 16-4, um, I think it was. 16-4. So you got a nice video. Um, if you open up the spreadsheet, there it is. Cash conversion cycle. Uh, I don't think I need that. Got this. Did I hit it? Yeah, that's what it looks like there. Uh, online, this is again showing an online cash conversion cycle. I can go in my files and go to chapter 16, uh, either in the instructor's manual or, or uh, let's see what 16.4 looks like. Um, 16, that's this problem, 16-4, whether it's the cash conversion cycle. I, I think it may be, if I remember. And, the, oh, this is the comprehensive spreadsheet problem. Does this look the same as this one? No. I don't think so. Where was I? There? There? Yeah, there. Wow, that's heavy. Close that and go to um, go to here, here, and let's see what this one looks like. I think I just did this. Yep. So that's that one. But I would go I, in, in. There's the case models, and these ones, of course, if you go straight in here, these ones are are uh, just problems. And let me show you these just for fun. We're on chapter 16, capital budgeting, uh, 16, WC, 
forecasting at 17. Here's 16. Modeling for managing, here's the cash conversion cycle, 16-4. All right, so there it is um, in, uh, in living color. <laughs> this is Chastain, right? Chastain cash conversion cycle. Am I in the same thing? Cash conversion cycle, yeah. Um, so this gives you a how-to on it. And then it goes to cash budget and some other problems. Uh, if I had assigned those, um, but uh, nonetheless, you know, all this stuff is available to you. You can download, take these from here, rip them off if you wanted to study it. All right, that's 16. We're getting close uh, to me shutting up. 16.4 and then 16.10, same thing. 16.10, uh, let me go in here and show you where 16.10 is. 16.4, is that cash budgeting? Yeah, it must be. I'm going to change that. I'm going to edit this. 16.10, cash budgeting. And I think I'm going to do this. Chat GPT is awesome. Chastain, is that still up from, oh no, Helen Bowers, that's where we are, done with that one. Helen Bowers, uh, Helen's Fashion Design, you can even go in in, uh, in there, let me put this, this one's, this one's pretty robust, yes, you can see how, because it downloads, it's not just online, and there it is. Here's what it looks like, and this is the back of the back of the uh, book problem. I'm gonna put this over here for a second and go to my files and go to 16. I think check figures. And especially 16:10. Yes, this is 1610. I'm going to download it just so I can show them both to you together. And I'm blocking my view. I'm blocking my, my other camera software is sitting on this other s screen running. Now I can, I can't see me. I look like a fool. Um, so there's the top of the page. You see collections during the month. Right, you can see all that stuff. So you can compare those two that way and, and see how you're doing. It should be pretty straightforward. You know, I, I don't think there's one of these that's going to take you more than an hour. Um, you know, and there's only, I don't know, 10. So you, you've got another week to get through these. You should be able to do it if, if you're completely psyched out. Um, don't be. You, you can get through those and get these homeworks in and be okay. Okay, now, uh, again, that's 1610, 16.4. 17, um, Paladin sales increase. Uh, this was just a problem. You know, it was a, a, a pro one of the problems from the class, uh, from the book. Not not a final comprehensive problem, and so I uh, this one uh, probably I in my notes it said from the book, uh, so there it is, and and again a nice video, and you can open a spreadsheet and take you here. It's a pretty easy one. Sales, it's trying to get you to manipulate the uh, sales increase, and it is. If you're going to go through here, Paladin Furnishings, what I might do is, is go uh, open another one. Open another one for, I'm going to show you in the, in the book where it is. In case you were, you know, Paladin. And, and you just look up Paladin in this case, I think. P. 
P-A-L-A-D-I-N. Right. Financial planning and forecasting. Paladin. Why are they giving me this? Oh, here we are. Pro forma statements. And I think it was 17.9. Yeah, here we are. They, they generated. So, so you could go and, and go to uh, your, again, go to your files and come down here and go, oh, you know what? Maybe I'll look in the, uh, I'll go and check figures and I'll look in the, in the instructor's manual and see what they had to say. Because, uh, by the way, you know, you're, you're going to learn something. Here's uh, chapter 17. And it was 17.9, I believe. I, I hope I put that in the in, in canvas so you can see it. Chapter 17. Oh, that's a comprehensive. Yeah, is that it? 17.14. Oh, 17.9, I want went too far. Eight, nine. Uh, that's this one. I think it's the same one. Let's take a look. Four million in sales. Uh, I have them here. So it gives you sales. Sales increase is what it's trying to teach you. A sales increase, 17-9. And I can go to my, uh, let me go to this. Oh, where was I? Oh, 17.9. I, sales increase. I can search this, too, if, if I wanted to go. Give me a sales increase problem or give me Paladin. You just go Control-F and go zero. Answers to end of chapter problems. Oh, God. Oh, is this all over? I, but I would download it. So let's download it. Boom. There it is. Bring it up that way. It's going up on my other screen. Here's 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 chapter 17. I, and I can do a I'm enable editing. And I can do a look up. I do I I do control F, you can do whatever you want. Control F gives me look up and go look up paladin. See if it's in there. Couldn't find it. So let's just look up uh, sales increase. There we go. Sales increase of 15%. Uh, or I could do this one 1712 or, or 17.5, right? And, and I can compare it with, with what I'm doing over here and see if, it, see if it's close or working. You know, but it'll tell me how to work it, which is good. Um, and and I think going back, there's some more of that. Yeah. So anyhow, that, that looks like there's two of them there, and you can search around in these documents pretty easily and, and find what you need. Maybe you're really good at that already. I'm just being weird. Uh, if I do, I apologize. You know, you're duh, Jim. So there we are. Um, I, I find the, you know, a, a lot of purists out there that go, oh, I, I feel like I'm cheating. And I'm like, hey, who are you cheating? You're, you're not cheating. You're only cheating yourself. You, if, you, if the process of finding the solutions creates education, well, who's cheating whom, <laughs> if you will? You know, I, I, don't, I don't see... I see a lot of hand waving about chat GPT like this uh, and, and people freaking out. And, and it's uh, to me, it's just people protecting their positions. Um, however you want to learn this stuff is up to you. So here we go back to assignments. But you, in my case anyway, you will learn by trying to just get the damn work done. Uh, and the more you do that. So we had cash budgeting, sales increase. Uh, forecasting um, again that was at, I, I used a book search there uh, and it let's look at 17 just for kicks I've got I want this 
I had about five minutes. Um, I want to keep this to an hour so you're not like losing your mind. It's another hour wasted. Um, maybe, uh, maybe you'll just go through the first little part of this and, and be okay. Morrissey, here's Morrissey, uh, and I think that Morrissey is in the in the end of chapter stuff. So we're gonna take a look there. Let's go there. Stop. Come on, move, move and stay. Uh, there we go in files and chick figures again. And I'm going to go down to end of chapter comprehensives to 17. Let's see if it's here. I, I think that's the one. Uh, suppose that 713, 714. Let me see. Common stock price. I've got these here. Let me pull this back over. That's chapter 16. I don't need that. See what I mean with all these open. Forecasting financial statements. This is 7, 13, 14. EPS. Oh, she's EPS. So, yeah, this, this will be helpful, but it's not right. The, the problem itself is on forecasting financial statements. So in, in this in this regard, I would go in, I would go in here and I'd, I'd write down, well, Morrissey is the company, Morrissey Technologies, 17, Morrissey writing down and I, I would go into the book uh, and go Morrissey Technologies and see if I can find it there and I spelled that wrong uh, and the forecasting right so the, the Assignment is here, and it is forecasting financial statements. So I'd go in here and go forecasting financial statements. I could learn something about this. Uh, financial planning and forecasting. Right here, here we are. And, and all this stuff, uh, and, and or I could go through here and go, you know, go right down to uh, 17, and, and just go into the book and look, uh, which which is just as easy, you know, to to chapter review and questions, you know, go back and find this question. Um, usually, and, and I've been through the book in class, you know, uh, somewhat financial ratios so I can go uh, and I can expand this chapter 17 as well um, financial planning and forecasting that's there but I can I can search I can search it and say uh, 17 9 I think it was no 17 go to book forecasting financial Morrissey Wonder. Oh, there it is. Then it'll come up here. Should show me where it is. Yeah, it's, the problem's down here somewhere. Excess capacity. It's got all this different stuff, which is great. And uh, you'll find it there. And and again, you, you know, you can go into the um, uh, the problem sets. And in, in the uh, 
my manual, I go my manual, you know, the, the professor's manual, or you, or you can go look in those other case studies, and it's usually there, or one very similar. Um, 20 and 21, these two, uh, lease versus buy and merger analysis, are both um, Excel problems that are in the files here, just to finish up. Uh, so th those both come from uh, these comprehensive problems. So here's end of chapter comprehensive. Uh, 21 is here. Uh, I can't remember this least first by. Oh, this is M&A, mergers and acquisitions. Here, right? Uh, Transworld, possible acquisition of Georgia Cable. That's the one that we're hitting there. Uh, if you look uh, back to here, and, and same thing with this one. Uh, at least uh, make sure you try and do that lease versus. Uh, I, I think that's a good problem because you use it when you're deciding to buy a car or, uh, or, or looking at buying a house. That that's a great lease versus buy is a great. Uh, uh, if you're in business, a piece of equipment. You know, should I lease it? You know, um, randomly on the farm. I bought all my equipment, and, and after I left and my brother-in-law took over, he leased. Uh, you know, it was just different. Um, the, the, the interest rate situation was much different. So, uh, and that's, that's, a, uh, that's a, a big factor in that lease versus buy decision. But those are both end of chapter comprehensive, uh, chapters 20 and 21, those last two problems. So do the discussions. Uh, hit, hit that final. The final's not too bad you know you can use the book um, and again if you're if you're uh, sendgage.com you should be able to go in here and get to the book now it's going to log me out this is a shitty website um, but they give you uh, a, a book uh, they, they give you a access to the book through the I'm going to show you where. If I go into Cengage like this, Cengage.com login. Uh, and and uh, in my case, I can go to either my course or my library. Let's go to my library again and see if I can pull this book up. So I hit principles here. And I should be able to click right into the book. Uh, We'll see if it wants to do that this time, but no. It should do that. I don't know why it's not. Let's go in my course. Uh, but I can click on the book here, and I can go. I was taking you to the companion site. So as a student, you can go to the student companion site, or down here see the student companion site here <laughs> case models chapter models um, you can you can look at those I thought they had a way for you to look at the book but I guess they don't in my case they do but you should have the ebook in your course and that'll that'll do it so uh, and you can go there here's our course you can go there by doing slow <laughs> I'm pushing like 400 mbps here's the book so use that book search you know to, to get you around when you start taking the exam on um, page numbers content your content all that search the course uh, and, and use this uh, you know go up to this hamburger over here and, and you'll be able to get around so I hope that's helpful for this this uh, fundamentals uh, 16 Brigham and Houston. Um, that, that's you know I, I'm no genius on this. Uh, I, you know you you're going to get your own way around it uh, quickly, uh, but it, but it's pretty good software. I'm I'm not um, I'm not terribly impressed with any of it, but I never am. Uh, but but it's it's as good as any I think. Um, being a McGraw-Hill guy or whatever you are. 
uh, Wiley or all these different book companies have pretty robust software. Pretty amazing is what I shouldn't bitch about it ever. It's, it's pretty amazing uh, what we've got now. So it, it, it beats a highlighter and sitting around. So I, I think maybe you don't. Maybe you get a highlighter. Okay. Uh, have fun this weekend uh, <laughs> doing finance. Reach out if you need anything. Uh, there's a lot in the finance news. But I'm going to end this tape, and uh, we will talk on Wednesday. So see you then.